hi friends so in this video we will see some syntax changes what is there between before es5 and now in the es6 we will see the syntax changes what has been done in the es6 now first when we go to syntax changes we will see about the variables so the variables first in the es6 we need to know is about let let in the previous javascript uh, if you see you are having the variable will be uh, should be declared as where where if you take where age is equal to 30 and if I do console.log age now what could be the output as usual we have seen in the previous JavaScript courses and all those things we will get the 30 fine now in the e6 a new type of variable has been has been introduced that is nothing but let so what is this use of let here if you mouse over let is available in es6 you will be able to see that one now what is the use of this let thing now if if i try to run here the code again we are getting 30 as the output then what is the difference between the where and the let here so let and where are looking one and the same only so then what is the purpose of using the let if you see in my previous videos of the javascript course for beginners we have seen in one video about the global scope and also the local scope so we have seen the difference between the global scope and the local scope so now here here we can tell that let but we in, in the es5 we don't we have the global scope and the local scope that is nothing but local scope we can call it as a function scope uh, we can also call it as function scope. that means the variable existing in between the function only we have those type of global scope and local scope we don't have the possibility of the block scope okay we don't have the possibility of the block scope so you can ask that what is the block scope so let's see one example here i have here where again same example where age is equal to 30 okay i am taking one condition if of true so i will try to do the age is equal to uh, something like uh, you can assume that i will try to do where age is equal to 30 here and i will try to console.log age now what could be the output so this if block this is this is if block we have seen this is the block okay now if we see the output here we can see the 30 okay fine now what i will try to do is i will try to change it to let here now let's see the output what could be the age it should be printed so we ex we can expect that it should be printed as 30 why because all the time if of true means it will it all the time if condition will be true all the time it will enter into the into this block so that age will be always will be declared so that means we can print the age as 30 so if we see the output here we got that reference error age is not defined why we are getting age is not defined so here the let usage you, now you, can, you will be able to understand that let will be useful this variable will be available only in this block okay in this block only let will be available this is nothing but let will, will be used for the block scope only where, where will be used for the global scope let will be used for the block scope so this is the one of the feature introduced in the ES6 so in this block only we can use this let variable if i use this console.log age okay if i use this console.log in that block only that age variable will be existing you can get the 30 but outside the block we are getting error so for example if i if i tell it as let age is equal to 40 or something like that so now so here i have top at the top i have introduced the same variable age is equal to 30 here I introduced that uh, again age is equal to 30 here 40 and we will see the output what could be now here we will be getting 30 and 40 so you will be able to understand now so in this block in this this is one of the total block we, what we can say is global scope this is the global scope nothing but total global block it is in this global block let let age is defined as 40 so, okay so this console.log is there in the global block only so that is the reason we got the 40 now this is another block scope so this is the block scope in this block scope this was a new variable let let it is introduced age same variable but we have introduced that we have declared that variable as let so that is the reason this age variable and this age variable will be different 
So in this block only this age variable will be existing. So this age variable and this age variable is, is, is different. If you declare it as var then every everywhere this var age will be all the time all the places it will be same. But here using the let the, ch the change has been occurred. So now you can you can assume that now I will try to remove this age here. Okay. Now what will happen? Now you can assume now if you see the output here I am able to see 30 30. Why I am getting 30 30 here? We can uh, now we here we have to get that error something age is not defined. But here it should have to print age right? Why? Because in this block we didn't define that one as uh, we, we didn't define this one as let. So what is happening here is now compare this one as total block now. Okay, this one is the total block. We know it, we we know it, right? So now in this in this global block, we have mentioned this let age as forty, and here this one this age is using by by this variable only. We have we are not declaring the new variable by let. We are telling to use the age variable in the in that block scope. So if we, it will check here in the, in, the, in this block if it is there or not, it will check its parent block again. So here it found the let age is equal to forty. Okay, fine. So I need to use this variable. It changed it to 30 so that here also it became 30 and here also it became 30. So I think now you are getting the point actually how the let is uh, used in this uh, ECMAScript 6. So uh, comparing to let, let is actually is a very useful and also very powerful in the ECMAScript 6. So if you understand the basic block scope, most probably what we can see, think of is let is always used for the block scope. Oh, block scope. So if you want to use in the block scope the variable so that outside the variables it should not get effect you can use it with the let or, or otherwise so if you want to something like this means you can mention that is a global global let so that it will be available in all the blocks here okay so this is the main difference between the let and where hope you understand this video if you have any doubts or anything so please post a comment in this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you